Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams. Hi, and joining me this afternoon on the summit is Maddie Stokes. She's a sophomore at Missouri Southern. And Maddie, I tell you what, you guys have been on a bit of a tear lately. You specifically, but you've had two consecutive wins now for the program, a 68-61 win against Northeastern State on Saturday. Wins on the road, no less, but you had another big night. 20 points and 18 rebounds in Tahlequah. Talk about that night. Um, We went into this game knowing that we were going to have to play the whole 40 minutes because we knew they were not going to let up and that they were going to fight for the whole 40. So that was one of the, the big things we talked about going in, and we knew it wasn't going to be an easy win and that we were going to have to fight. We were ahead from – almost the whole game. And in the third quarter, they made a great run and uh, we knew we were going to have to come back in battle. And in the last four minutes of the game, uh, Coach Russell called a timeout and said, you have to give it all right here or we're not going to end up with the good results that we want. So we all kind of came together and we knew like, this is it. This is now like time to leave it all on the floor. So we just, we battled out possession by possession and we got the win. Well, it sounds like that, uh, you know, things are going well for the program right now. It's been a little bit of an up-and-down season. You've had some wins in a row, some losses in a row, back on the winning side, getting the victory there in Tahlequah. And I mentioned two consecutive road wins. You went on the road against Rogers State on Thursday night. Sounds like it was another game just like that. Took it all the way to overtime, an 81-78 victory over the Hillcats. But specifically, I wanted to talk about you, a 30-20 night. 31 points, 21 rebounds. I'm sure that was a night that you're always going to remember. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, at the time, I didn't realize like how many points I had or rebounds because I was just there to play uh, no matter like if I was getting the ball or not. Uh, going into that game, they coaches talked about like we need to get the ball inside, whether we're driving into the paint or getting it to the post players, and the guards did a great job passing the ball in and driving and being strong when they took the ball to the basket. And when I was told after the game how many points and rebounds I had, I was just kind of <laughs> like surprised with myself because I've never done that before. Like that's the most points and rebounds I've ever had in my whole basketball career. And it was kind of just cool to know like that I am capable of it. Like my coaches tell me all the time, like you you can do it. And so – Actually getting that those points and rebounds like it did just helped me uh, gain the confidence that I can score the ball and help my team to the wins. Well, congratulations for an incredible effort. We're speaking now with Maddie Stokes from Missouri Southern here on the Summit on Midwest Sportsnet. And I encourage you, please do subscribe to the channel and like and share this video. We get to visit with great coaches and great players like Maddie Stokes. My goodness, I, I see you're listed at, at 6'4", and I realize that doesn't mean that you're necessarily good, going to get all the rebounds because you know we're in a time now where they're – the three-point line is is you lie so often, so many long shots, which often will result in a long rebound as well. So it's not all about the height. What does it take on your end to bring down all those boards? Um, I just – my coaches have really worked with me on, like, going to chase the rebound. Like Coach Russell says all the time, like, last year I was getting rebounds because they kind of just fell in my hands. But this year um, I realized how important it is for me to go get the rebound. So – that's what just gives me like that boost to go chase the ball down and get the ball to the point guard so we can have the opportunity to go and score. You know, another big stat in your 30-20 night, and I may say that three or four more times, 30-20, that is so cool. It's such a great thing to get to talk about, and it will always be associated with your name. I think that's really neat. But another big stat that night, seven blocked shots. So that was that was pretty big as well. You've had 34 this season. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think that's my favorite thing to do on defense is block people on shot. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. But, um, yeah, and I also didn't know how many blocks I had. Honestly, I thought I just had, like, four, not going to lie. But um, my blocking, like, we – I've had to put in practice with it because I tend to always want to block with my right hand. And so when I reach across my body, sometimes I pick up a foul, which is not good. But so that's just really been something that I've been working on and I'm continuing, continuing to work on. So you become an, an ambidextrous shot blocker. Is that, <laughs> is that right? Okay. Well, that's cool. That's, 
That's something new for my vocabulary. I'll, I'll have to I'll have to remember that, and I'll always give you credit for that. Okay, uh, you know, I, I, in what you're doing now, you played a couple of games on the road, and you're back at home. Three games at home this week alone. Talk about playing at home then, but it has to be different this year. Is it really a home court advantage when there aren't as many fans in the stands? Um, I would say yes, just because uh, you know more people in your home stands, like you know, like. Who, like I know what my grandparents said every time and I know what my parents said every time. And um, it's just like nice knowing like if you need to look up there for just like a reminder, like reminder for who you're playing for, like you know where they are. And so um, I obviously would rather play at home. And we were undefeated at home for a while, but we lost, we lost those two games. And I think going into this week, having three home games, that losing those two games is going to really – give us the confidence and the mindset that we need to continue to win. Well, Maddie, I, I won't put any pressure on you then, but I know, you know, a 2020 night a couple of weeks ago, 21 points, 22 rebounds then. Of course, the 30-20 night this past week, uh, nearly another 20-20 night with what you did in, in Tahlequah, 20 points, 18 rebounds. So no pressure, but I'll ask you, do you think we might see, you know, another one like this again sometime? I hope so. <laughs> I know Coach Russell probably hoped so too, right? Yeah. Um, no, I'm most definitely going to try um, to do, like continue to do this for my team just so we can get the win and that we can make it to the conference tournament. All right. Well, Maddie Stokes, sophomore again at Missouri Southern, and the Lions have won two on the road back at home this week. And, and I know that uh, the folks that have the opportunity to watch you there are looking forward to seeing you coming back and playing on that home court again, see if you can have another night there for the Lions. Thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. And six success to you all this season. Thank you. Thank you for having me.